It's the best betting card of the meet so far this Saturday night at Mammoth at the Meadowlands. The turf rails are all the way down. Last week at that setting with smaller fields, ralliers thrived in two-turn routes and wide all-the-way trips were tenable. Speed did, however, win the lone lawn sprint last Saturday night. Early daily double starts with race one, a $10,000 maiden claimer, fillies and mares three and up, going one mile on turf with the rails down. The one she will dance has a stakes quality pedigree on her damn side, but the homebred dropping to claimers for the first time not only drops to the claiming price for the first time, but goes all the way down to the basement. Clearly, she's the one to beat at this level, but she's just not my type. Number nine, Generous Luva, drops down, stretches out, third off a layoff, third time Lasix, first time for a capable barn with new acquisitions. Her debut was a two-turn turf mile versus much better, and she ran well there despite trouble and while being without Lasix. She's dangerous early speed here with foundation and with Lasix. Number six, Callie Ray is who I'm going with, though, hopefully at a good price. She finally gets back on her preferred turf, first time with blinkers on grass, uh, on Saturday night as well. She had legitimate trips twice at Monmouth Park in her two lone previous grass tries against big fields that were better than this one. I think she has plenty of room to improve first time blinkers on turf and against a lesser field. Race one, my picks are six, nine, one. Moving to race two, a $30,000 claimer, non two life condition, three and up, one mile on turf with the rails all the way down. The two, Vince the Prince, had a tough trip off the bench last time out on the drop, but ran genuinely well. Comes back quickly here, steps up in class, but this horse earned a career top figure in that last effort. He certainly can move forward here, and I like the aggressive move. The four, Royal Brown, is rested and drilling regularly and well for a barn that specializes off that move and is very good with horses looking to repeat. He'd be two next out winners and a next out runner-up in a Saratoga maiden win. The five, Rose Collector, cycled forward back on turf in his last, should get pace here. Definite exotics used for me, taking a legitimate drop in class uh, on Saturday night. The three bean machine, though, is my pick in race number two. He was well ridden at Delaware last time out, but he broke from the 11 post, and he had to be used into a very fast pace to get that position. And then he did have some traffic issues in the big field. He finished really well behind a perfect trip winner, galloped out really well, has a better post here. I like the quicker return. He was off a mini layoff last time out, probably a little bit too much time between starts for a maximum effort. Bean Machine is a blossoming three-year-old. Race two, my selections are three, four, five, and my early daily double, six, nine, one with the three.